It's time to turn your life-challenging moments into life-changing messages. Welcome to the Power Lift Stories Podcast, where we are interviewing women whose stories will leave you lifted up, fired up, and fueled up with hope, courage, and inspiration. We want to thank our sponsor, Powerful Journey, who helps women tell their stories, write their books, and building a profitable brand around both. Join the Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com. That is P-H-Y-L-L-I-S-J-E-N-K-I-N-S dot com. Now here's your host, Phyllis Jenkins. Hello, everyone, and we are still celebrating our authors who just became published authors and walked the pink carpet at our Powerful Journey Women's Conference. Our guest today is Ashley Ballou, and she is one of the authors who so graciously walked the pink carpet with her book in hand. And before I move to Ashley, I just want to say, if you're listening to this and you know that you know that you know that you know you have a book inside of you and you are ready to share that book, from your heart to the heart of your readers, we are now we now have open enrollment for our, our Authors Academy, and um, we would welcome, we would love to have you come and join the, the class, and next year at our conference, you will be the one walking the pink carpet with your book. So Ashley Ballou, welcome today. It was so fun at the conference and and to see you scroll in with your your book in hand and and even to teach a workshop using your book as the resource so again welcome and um, introduce yourself and your book to our powerless stories audience awesome thank you for having me miss phyllis my name is Ashley Ballou, and I am the newly published author of The Identity Journal. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, so I uh, created The Identity Journal for two different populations. Uh, I call it like the one, the, the first population would be those who um, maybe wasn't raised or didn't uh, grow up getting those positive affirmations and things of that sort and or currently just are not receiving that verbal encouragement and support and that are maybe I, I'd say maybe in, in need of some clear truths to their life that to identify they, they, they can identify themselves with that's good. And so I really uh, wanted to make sure that this journal uh, allowed for that population to have some words to hold on to, some truths to hold on to, and to know that they can have, they have a true identity and purpose in this world. And then I uh, also wrote this journal for the other half that might have gotten those words of affirmation as a young child and or may have friends currently and family that are pouring into them uh, and giving them words of affirmation and hope. However, you know, in life, we all have those moments where we get knocked down and we feel defeated and we may can't find the words to help us get back up. And, you know, while there's other people around us telling us how good we are and how we are great and everything, but we just can't find anything that will stick. And I've made it for those, for those individuals who are, might be struggling with um, a secure identity or being able to have a, a consistent frame of reference or point of reference uh, for who they truly are. 
uh, it, you know, so yeah. I, I love yeah. that. And, you know, the timing is perfect for the identity journal because I actually wrote this journal in the middle of the pandemic and we we're still in the pandemic. It's getting better, <laughs> but, but what I, I can't think of a better time for someone to, to get the identity journal and to go through it, to help to encourage and build them up and inspire them mm -hmm. uh, to, to be who God has called them and created them to be. So uh, perfect, perfect time and on that. So Ashley, tell what's your backstory for writing the Identity Journal? Well, simply, Miss Phyllis, uh, I had a dream of this, of all the only thing it was like a flash dream. It was of this uh, portion of the logo, and I woke up out of it. And uh, I would say the long story is I am a mom of five girls, and with being uh, gifted five girls knowing the Lord knowing that I wanted a son but you know I have five girls <laughs> it's a lot <laughs> so five beautiful girls <laughs> thank you I appreciate it uh, I just really was like Lord what wh why five girls like why girls you know uh, girls have a different level of support and need uh, I'm not saying that boys don't but girls have a unique uh, need uh, and need emotional support, mental support, things of that sort. And um, I wanted to figure out like, Lord, if I was to, you know, pass away, what am I going to leave behind? You know, what legacy would I leave behind for them? I mean, I could teach them to be domesticated. You know, someone can teach them how to get into you know, college or the perfect job or teach them a trade or, I mean, anyone can teach them any of those different skill sets and how to, you know, and different character qualities to have, you know, in different settings. Uh, but what would be the one thing that they could stand on um, that would transcend like all of those things, you know, if the work went away if their, you know, accolades and recognition, like if it went away, what, mm -hmm. you know, if their family went away, what would they have if them themselves lost capacity to be able to take care of themselves, be independent, what would they have uh, to stand and to fall on? And that is the identity journal. It's, those identity truths and identity beliefs that are secure in theirs. And I wanted to share that not only as a legacy to leave with my daughters, but for those who are the readers, I want them to know that these things are theirs as well, and they can stand on those things. That's great. That's great. Um, if you would briefly carry us through uh, a few pages of the Identi identity journal. Yeah, Give sure. them a taste of, of what they're in for. <laughs> okay, awesome. So um, the identity journal is meant to go through like page by page. So uh, if you are the type of reader who like skips around through a book, um, you can gain some nuggets from that, but it's really meant to go page by page from the first to the last page. And um uh, Throughout the journal, there are points of like single pages, like um, like this one. It's just like a blank page, but it it has a word and it's its definition. So in this page, for example, it has the word identity and the definition of identity. And so other definitions are throughout this uh, journal book, like um, like qualities and. Uh, being an heir, H-E-I-R, heir, mm -hmm. and um, so routine and identifiers. So I wanted uh, the reader to know the definition of those words because identity is what defines us. It is our unique character qualities that define us. And so I thought that was important to have. Also, there are points where throughout the journal that it asks questions 
under what is called identity reflection. So when you're reading, you'll come to a identity truth and then you will reflect on that truth under the identity reflection. And so some of those um, points, you will read questions and then follow, follow up with your answer as to how you basically, what was your takeaway from what you read and how you will apply it going forward. So really as um, a series is a, it's a walkthrough for anyone who is struggling with identifying who they really are and truly are and those who just need to be redefined you know like redefine their identity um, and throughout there are scriptures like there are scriptures written out for you to re to help you through your identity reflection because I do believe that truth is grounded in the word of God and absolutely so, most definitely. So uh, I wanted to make it clear uh, to help for not only just my words that I wrote, but that the word of God was embedded into the journal to make sure that it had um, a sticking point. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great. I love that. And I would love the the format that you've taken our, uh, your book will take the reader on mm -hmm. as we are identifying and then doing an identity reflection. So many times we don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, or we do it in, in a crisis. And when we wait and do it in a crisis, we're not fully uh, where we need to be at that moment. Mm -hmm. And so I love, love, love the way you have laid it out and and the format that you've given, and then the questions to help guide us through the reflection, and, and then an area for, for us to actually write and journal. Absolutely okay. love that. Mm -hmm. um, and so what are, are the three takeaways that you would like for our listeners today to walk away with? Okay, so yeah, most definitely. The three takeaways that I have for this journal is one, you are here for a purpose and you are not yes. a mistake. Uh, I want that to be not known, only known, excuse me, for my daughters. Uh, no matter the backstory, I want it uh, the read, I want the reader to know that, that you are here for a purpose. And two, you have distinct qualities about you that are not tied to your past, not tied to your present roles or in anything that might happen in the future, that you have distinct qualities about you. And then three, um, you have the power to discover or to redefine your uh, ideals about your identity. Um, and I want to, uh, through this journal, to equip any reader to have like, you know, ideals that are based in truth that they can take away. Like if everything dissolved itself, these are things that I can stand on and that I know is true about me. So, yeah. That's great. That's great. Love, love, love that. And how can our listeners and those who are viewing, how can they get the identity journal? And if they want to have you come out to their small groups or uh, their churches, how can they connect with you to invite you to come and lead a workshop as well? Most definitely. Uh, I would love to come out and also to uh, provide you guys with, you know, a book for purchase. Um, my email is discovertrueidentity at gmail.com. It's all one word, discovertrueidentity at gmail.com. I'm also on Instagram at identity underscore journal. And also I will be launching here very soon a website called manifestpotential.com where you can go on to purchase a book or book an appointment uh, to schedule for me, maybe come out to your small group or your large group to 
either go through the journal to put on like a customized workshop or to do the workshop that I did at the Powerful Journey Conference. It was amazing. It was awesome. So that's how you can get a hold to that's me. That's great. Or they can jump over to Amazon as well. And oh, yeah. Book, that's correct. Cool. yeah. <laughs> the link for the Amazon, for Amazon uh, purchase is on the um, I- 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 IG, which is Instagram uh, page. But yes, you can definitely type in Identity Journal at an, uh, Ashley Ballou. And then great. <laughs> That's great, Ashley. Well, I am super excited about the Identity Journal. Mm-hmm. I am uh, just uh, so grateful that you had that dream and that you acted upon the dream. That's, that's, that's something else for our listeners to take away right. is that when God puts, plants a seed in you, act immediately on it as Ashley did. She didn't sleep on it again. She didn't question it. She went forward and uh, wrote the book and now it's published and it will be here to help generations after generations after generations. So uh, don't, don't sleep on the dreams that God has given to you. Don't sleep on them because uh, God will, if it's, if it's God, he will press upon you to get it done. And I can name countless times where um, I got pressed upon me identity journal and so I knew he it was a god-driven uh it's a god-driven project it's a god-driven words uh so I'm so thankful that he used me as his vessel to produce it I mean it's even still now Miss Fellow is just very surreal (laughs) well We at The Powerful Journey are so excited that uh, we were on the journey with you from start to finish to get the book published. And we know that many lives will be enhanced and blessed and even changed because you followed through on the assignment that God gave you to do. Uh, Again, to those of you watching, we are in our open enrollment season for the Authors Academy. And we welcome you to come on and jump into class, get the book that's inside of you, out of your heart, into the heart of the readers and people who who need to hear what God has given you to say. And so come on to the class. We, We welcome you. Ashley, thank you again for being here today. Thank you for being obedient to what God has Uh, called you to do and we are all being blessed because you did that the show notes will uh will have ashley's uh contact information and how you can purchase the book there as well as how you can join the authors academy we look forward to having you and until then we will see you next time on the power lift stories podcast (laughs) bye-bye Thank you for joining us today. If you are interested in being on the show, go to phyllisjenkins.com. You can also sign up for the Powerful Journey Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com.